Hey everybody, this is Tambiota. I want to thank you for joining me here on Tambiota Reviews. So today we have from uh, Mega Constructs. This is uh, series number three of the Heroes figure. Uh, this is from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Leonardo. So I had this guy all reviewed and such I got done and noticed I didn't press the record button so I actually don't have the package here this is a picture of the package that I have because I've already opened this guy up um, so here on the picture you can see the uh, this is the, the 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 figures packaging you can see Leonardo in there he has an alternate headband uh, uh, the, the headband that he comes with here is the red headband and you can see that he has a little bit of uh, details on his body. And that's uh, because he's supposed to be a comic accurate version of this guy. And uh, But he does come with a blue bandana. So you can switch those out and I'll show you that in just a little bit. So let's uh, go ahead and, and get into this. Uh, it says that there's uh, 28 pieces. And um, we'll see in just a little bit why. All right, so this is essentially what we get in the package. This is the figure here. We come with uh, it comes with pieces for a base. So you have this 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 front piece right here, Leonardo. You get this green piece. Now you want to attach that to there. Uh, it's a, a two by four basically. Uh, it only has th uh, six whole structures or, or pieces that come up, but it basically it's a it's a two by four. Uh, and then you have this one by four, and you place this underneath, and that becomes your uh, your base so he has his two katanas i've already have them pre-attached into his hands uh now he does have his alternate like i said his blue bandana and we'll get into that in just a little bit his instructions are here and these are the other figures that are in the wave now i didn't pick up the alien or uh data right here uh, i'm not really interested in the star trek or the next generation figures but i was interested in the aliens but i already have an alien version this is just alternate that has um uh, basically blood on it uh, alien blood on it uh, i did pick up the uh the terminator ones and i'll have those out soon reviews out of those soon so these are the instructions and the reason why there's so many pieces is you can see here you have uh basically all of these pieces like the shell comes off of here and then you have all the legs the um if you take a look you have the wristbands the uh elbow pads the knee pads the belt the back and front halves of the shell come off your headband comes off and that's where all your your piece count comes from so uh, this figure is a little different than uh than other figures so uh, and with his articulation, we'll get into that in just a little bit. Let's show how to uh, how to swap out this headband. So you can take this, basically you bring this up, and you can see there's a little tab in there and that coincides with this little notch that's in the back of his head. So if you want to, uh, you just take a look, you'll see that the, uh, the, the, the raised portions go on the top. And it's really cool uh, is that uh, the headbands are, um, what do you call it, like hollow where the eyes are. It, it, and the uh, these eyes right here that are painted on are the actual eyes that come through the headband. So yeah, there you go. And bring that down. And it's fairly tight. And you can see the eyes come right through. So it's painted exactly where it needs to be painted for those eyes. <clears throat> All right, so... Uh, let's see here <clears throat> getting into articulation you come up here to the head and you have a ball joint now the arms are regular articulation for a uh, uh, for a uh, mega constructs or a mega blocks figure you have a uh, two-piece for the shoulder so you got forward oops, uh, forward and back motion and then a side up and down motion now you have your elbows which you can bend and then there's a twist in them uh, right above it where the connector is <clears throat> and then you come down here to the wrist now you can twist the wrist just because of where the connector is but there's no waist articulation on this guy now the way the hips work the hips and the legs are a little different 
Now, normally, the uh, uh, a normal <clears throat> uh, Mega Constructs figures, the uh, the peg will go up into the hip sideways. Now this goes up vertically, so it allows a little bit a different range of motion. So you have your forward and back, you have a side type of pivot, but you don't have anything coming out this way. Now if you want to do that, then you have to twist the leg and then bring it out like that. See how I did that? So you sweep it forward and then back down. And that's that's how you do it because the pin is moved it's a, it's in a different orientation instead of it being horizontal it's vertical and I don't know if you can see that uh, vertical instead of horizontal <clears throat> it goes up into the body this way instead of this way now everything after that is is all the same uh, you have your knee uh, where's the knee the knee is a, a little weird uh, there we go so that's your knee joint now you can uh, you can rotate the knee uh, on that little axis right there. Uh, these are a little pain in the butt right here because they they want to move around a lot. Uh, basically, they're soft plastic, and they just kind of stretch and go in there. Uh, now, another thing that they have that normal figures don't have is you have a, a pivot on the foot, so you can turn the foot left or right, which it's going up and down because of the way that I'm holding them, but. It's really cool. That's a little bit of a different, uh, different thing on there. So, all right. Well, I'm excited to uh, see if we get the rest of these, especially in these uh, this, this comic motif with these uh, with the shading stripes. So, very cool, very cool indeed. And we have the red bandana because that's because uh, in the comics, the uh, the Ninja Turtles all have red bandanas. And it wasn't until the uh, the cartoon actually came out that they switched from all being red to having different colors because they wanted the uh, the kids to easily be able to uh, distinguish between the different turtles instead of having to look at their weapons uh, to be able to tell which turtle it was. So that's that's when they changed that. So um, they went ahead and and gave the, uh, the 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 cartoon headband also. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, uh, sorry, I had to re-record this, but uh, if you did enjoy this and you would like to watch some more stuff or you would like to subscribe, you can do that over here. If you want to watch some more videos, you can do those over here, either one of these. All right, uh, thanks for watching. It's Tambiota. I'll see you guys tomorrow.